Hey ladies and gentlemen, Juan Sanchez coming at you with a new tube of green hair dye. Today I'm going to be reviewing this new Billie Eilish song called My Future. Now, I'll admit that I actually like Billie Eilish's music and I've been a fan of her since like 2017 or 18 whenever she put out that um whenever she put out that EP, I don't remember what the name of it is, but uh it's the one that had like My Boy on it and uh some other songs. EP, LP, album, I don't know what you would call it, but that collection, that project. And I I really liked I really liked her music and I really liked When We All Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go? And just some just a lot of good songs across that album. Great production, one of the most unique sounding pop albums. Honestly, since Lord's 2013 Pure Heroin album. However, earlier this year, she did have some shit to say about hip-hop that was a little bit ignorant, misinformed, ill-informed. Um, it's kind of hard for me to accept what she said. She's talking about how she feels like hip-hop is a lot of stereotypes, and it's, it's not. You just sound like somebody who hasn't listened to hip-hop. So much of your production and your sound, Billy, is owed to hip-hop. So much of the things that you do, the experimentation that you do, was started in hip-hop music. And, and that's not even to talk about the racial aspect of criticizing hip-hop. That's not, not, we're gonna, not, that's not the conversation I want to have today. No, the conversation I'm here to have is whether or not this new song is good. So let's have that conversation right after I listen to this song. So the song starts off similar to how Billie Eilish's songs typically start off with some slow, droning, spacey keyboard or piano line or some something similar. Uh, you know, with her very with her very soft, sweet, yet also commanding, powerful voice singing over the light, airy instrumental. And then the second verse comes and the beat drops and it turns into like this funk rock disco type song that sort of makes me think of like a Mare Hawthorne instrumental. I really like on the choruses how she talks about being in love with her future and I'm in love but not with anybody here. I'll see you in a couple of years. There's a lot of lyrics in this that are very specific to like pandemic and the current world we're living in and uh, I do like how Billie Eilish despite being like the reigning champion of like sad girl music decided to make a positive upbeat banger um, with all of this that, that's going on right now. I really do like that. Billy's voice over this instrumental has a very dissonant vibe to it. They they sort of clash and complement each other very well. Billy still sings with like the determination that she sings the first half of the song with. It's not like she all of a sudden just like switches up and starts like oh I eat the ooh, ooh. She just does her thing over this beat and she makes it work. And like, I'm I'm split on this song because it shouldn't work. But it does, and I like that. I really like that. This song makes me feel a way that I can't explain. So I'm gonna give it five stars. And that's just that. 